All right, we are back on this Monday evening. Welcome back to Weather for Weather Geeks, everyone. Hope you had a good weekend. We had a nice weekend weather-wise, despite a couple of sprinkles by the end of the afternoon and early in the evening on Sunday. But today, not so nice. When we look at the calendar view of the first 10 days of June, one day stands out, and that is today we only had a high of 59 at the Youngstown Warren Regional Airport today. If you think that's pretty unusual for this deep into June, you would be right. Since the year 2000, our coolest June days, uh, number one on the list, June 1st, 2015, at 52 degrees. Today's 59 was actually the coolest June high temperature we've had since that number one a day on this list back in early June of 2015. Uh, so, yeah, it's unusual. It's not unheard of, but it's certainly unusual to have a day this chilly, uh, this deep into the month of June. We weren't alone in this. Look how many of the reporting sites east of the Mississippi had a cooler than average high temperature today. Everywhere where you see a blue dot, that's a cooler than average high. And yeah, dozens upon dozens of reporting stations across the eastern U.S. were on the cool side today. We even had a few renegade sprinkles and little bits of drizzle earlier on. You know, I was joking with Andrew DiPaolo this afternoon, if this were a January day, and it was kind of a setup we see a lot of times in January with a cool flow off the lakes. Uh, we'd be talking about incessant flurries and even coatings of snow in some spots, but of course it's June, so we had liquid precipitation, and yeah, you needed to bundle up a little bit if you were out and about this afternoon, where we had a little drizzle falling in temperatures in the 50s. It certainly felt more like April the 10th rather than June the 10th. Alright, we're going to hang out of the clouds for another hour or two in most spots this evening. I think not long after sunset, the clouds will start thinning from northwest to southeast, leaving us with a mostly clear sky for a time overnight tonight. A few fair weather clouds in the mix on our Tuesday, especially in the morning, but this will be a nicer looking day. Now, with high pressure almost right overhead, or just to our west, we'll still have a little bit of a gentle northerly breeze, a cool breeze on our Tuesday. So it's not a warm day on Tuesday, but we'll get close to 70, still 8 or 9 below average, but... We'll take it with some strong late June, or early June, I should say, sunshine for our Tuesday. That high then drifts off to the east and just a few fair weather clouds drifting in and out through Wednesday morning. I think it'll be a bright and sunny Wednesday afternoon and much more like the season as we get up close to 80. I think we'll get well into the 80s on Thursday as this warm front lifts off to the north. Now, this next cold front that you see on the weather map Thursday morning will probably cross our area late Thursday night into Friday morning. Uh, it'll be enough to knock our temperatures back just a little bit for Friday and for Saturday, but it's not going to be able to squeeze out much moisture. There could be some gusty thunderstorms Thursday, especially out near Chicago. I don't think severe weather is a concern locally, but there might be a shower or a storm here and there Thursday night and into the first half of the day on Friday. In the meantime, our neighbors well off to the south will have a pretty uh, wet go of it over the next several days. This is not an association with a hurricane or anything like that, but a plume of tropical moisture will get funneled right into Florida over the next several days. So especially south of Orlando, down into the southern half of the Sunshine State, we could be talking about some double-digit rainfall totals over the next five or six days, especially the west coast of Florida over towards Fort Myers, heading down towards the Keys as well. It is not going to be very nice. And of course, we are expecting a pretty active hurricane season in the Atlantic Basin, so these sorts of events even though this one isn't necessarily associated with a, an organized tropical system, these kinds of events, uh, we could see them several times in parts of the southern U.S. over the next several months. Back here at home, though, it is quite the opposite. Uh, not many rain chances to talk about over the next seven days. Our cold front Thursday night into Friday morning might bring us a couple of showers, maybe a thunderstorm, but we should dry things out by Friday afternoon. It looks very pleasant for the upcoming weekend, for Father's Day especially. Saturday. Sunday for Father's Day itself, yes, it'll be dry and most likely sunny, but it's going to get hot. And I think the hottest stretch of weather so far in 2024 is heading our way, and it won't come with much rain, at least at first, early on next week. The jet stream configuration is going to evolve a lot. The cool weather that we have presently is underneath this trough, but that trough is going bye-bye in a hurry over the next several days. And the kind of jet stream pattern that we haven't seen yet this, this uh, spring and summer will uh, uh, form over the next uh, five to seven days. So by next week, early next week, next Monday, the jet stream's way up here. You got a, a little bit of a trough in the west and a Mondo Ridge in the east. That's a hot looking weather map. And I think, uh, you know, in our part of the country, we define a heat wave as three or more days in a row with highs of at least 90 degrees. And I think it's possible we see our first heat wave of the summer season early next week. We could flirt with 90 on Father's Day. If we don't hit it Sunday, we probably hit it Monday. And then we may hit it a couple of more times 
early next week. So if you're not a fan of today's cool, if you're ready for some real heat and uh, some bonafide pool weather and things like that, uh, your time is coming before you know it. I think uh, we're going to be uh, uh, definitely uh, feeling the heat a week from today. It's not going to be in the 50s at this time next Monday when we do weather for weather geeks. In the meantime, thanks for watching on this Monday evening. Have a great rest of your night, and I'll see you back here on Tuesday.